Speaking to MTV News, Chairman Solomon says the school has grown from strength to strength in terms of capacity building. But like other schools in the city, high demand enrollment is not catered for by the current facilities. Solomon says the new development is targeted at the cost of 15 million kina. We are putting a plan in place that will cost us about 15 million kina. And that's a lot of money for a school, a primary school can do it. But the fact of the matter is that this school, Khan Memorial Adventist School, is the, is the biggest school in, in the Adventist network of the South Pacific Division of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. But the Adventist-run school is currently under the government system. A working committee is receiving help from the works department to design classrooms, new learning materials and teachers' accommodation. All these are in the process of being finalized. The school chairman says this will be a major facelift for the school. We'll be, we'll be building the teachers' houses, we'll be building the classrooms, we'll be building the multi-purpose hall, we'll be building a lot of things and hopefully, hopefully we might ask we might ask the mission to come out from the unified system and we will be moving alongside under the mission. Ka was recently accredited by the Adventist mission. The school principal says this is a blessing to the school and its stakeholders. The school has met the criteria that was looking for the standard of the Adventist education. And with the report, Ka Memorial School received five stars. Going forward, the school board and administration says a Christian education will remain the first subject to guide students in the education attainment. And realigning them with the school rules that is set by the board, set by the mission, and set by the school admin, and also for the school to follow. These are simple basics that students must follow and be abide by the rule in order for them to do well. Jack Lopava Jr. National MTV News.